Hey, what's good guys? It's Noggin back again with a little video p pitching the tutorial everybody wanted. So, uh, I'm here with my buddy Michael Thomas, and we're going to be helping you with some pitching. So, let's get right to it. So, if you're a public, you're probably used to doing this. This is probably the one thing you should avoid because that's always your result. So I'm gonna help you get better at well, not throwing mids. So, as always, I say to my teammates, always get creative with your pitching because if you're creative with your pitching, then you'll get a lot more strikeouts than usual, and it's good to be aggressive, but not always aggressive. You can throw balls here and there, but don't spam them because that's just a really bad idea. So, a good tactic that I would recommend on a 0-1 count, if you got one strike on a person, is do an another aggressive pitch, like a cutter, because cutters usually work very well, and people are going to think it's bait. I'll get to that later in the video. So, I'll show you one of my signature pitches. I know I'm giving away one of my secrets. Uh, I'll just give you two. So a slow drag hook works very well with the Grom. As you can see, I just struck him out there. And it's always good to throw fast too, but you always got to read the batter's wind. So for example, if you saw my other video, you saw the batter's wind. So you always got to read that. Because if you give him fast and he winds fast, you're in big trouble. So let's talk about baits. So baits, uh, you can do many baits. You can do above the zone, inside the zone, as much as you like. But just always remember to read your batters before you pitch. So let's throw a bait right here. You almost went for it. So uh, the best bait you can possibly do, which I probably use this as a strikeout pitch every single time. I'll give a fast knuckleball rising over here, and he checked that, but not in time. So that's a very good pitch, and if you want to start him off with a strike or this, then this is a pretty good pitch to start your batter off with. So if you have no stances, you have Arietta, that's a good pitch to start off with. And if you have Neshek, for example, let me just get that out right over here. Take it out. Yeah. Here you go. So if you're a public, these are some good pitches. A fast left hook. And some dragging is good too. It's good to drag because it affects the movement of the ball. And it's, you know, good tactic. S land him off with a wall of the noggin splitter as I would call it. And also, some stances that I would recommend that you would use is, uh, I'll show you right here. So, I would very recommend Darvish, Scherzer, just the very good animations like Tanaka, Grom. Stances I wouldn't recommend is probably Chapman band animations, because that's pretty toxic if you use them. And some straight arm animations because that's that's really bad. So that's all for today. That's a first pitching tutorial I'll make for you guys. And hope you enjoyed. And I'll make a more tutorial soon. So see ya.